Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. In my review of this, this is the WowTac A4 V2. And in the background, for your viewing pleasure, I've got Topps Power Eagle, SE Hoongless, Topps Wild Pig Hunter, and Kislar Phoenix Combat. I will include links to all of these if they are still available. This SE right here is a classic blade, and in my opinion, you know, worth every penny. Now as for this Topps Power Eagle, I mean this is one of the few blades that can compete like testosterone wise with this SE. It's even, you know, it's even a little longer than that SE. Now about uh, pig hunting and boar hunting blades, a lot of people have pointed out that if it's, if it's good enough to take out a very tough creature like a wild boar, it's the type of knife that would also be very good uh, in hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? I have to agree. Now this Russian knife, the Phoenix, this is actually the knife that the uh, Wild Pig Hunter was based on, you know, back in the day. But back then you couldn't get this in America. It wasn't available in America back then, but it is now. Here's a closer look at the light. So as you can see, it's got a side switch, got some texture here for grip, this is the charging port cover, and it has got a smooth reflector. This is a compact thrower, my favorite category of light. The light also comes with a lanyard, some spare O-rings, and a charging cable. Now here are the stats on the light. As you can see, it's got five brightness levels and a strobe mode. Right? You can see uh, the lumens, max lumens, 1895 is your maximum lumen, so almost 2000. But check out the maximum beam distance, 565 meters, right? And also you can see the run times there as well. Operation of this light, to turn it on, press the side switch. To turn it off, press the side switch. Once it is on, if you press and hold, you will cycle through low, medium, and high. Let's do that now. Now to shortcut to turbo, double tap. Now to shortcut to strobe, from there double tap again. Alright, warning, we're gonna flash here. There's a strobe. And from off, if you long press, you will shortcut to firefly, which is in ultra low mode. There you go, that is the firefly. Now this is powered by one 26650 lithium ion battery. To get at it, just unscrew the uh, tail cap there. It comes with this battery. And this is a big heavy battery, but the good part is, look at the massive capacity. This has a lot of endurance and it's good that it comes with it. You don't have to buy a separate battery and you can recharge this battery in that light. To recharge that battery in the light, just plug in the charging cable right into the charging port and then to any USB power source, that's a power bank. And now I don't know if you can see with the studio lights, but it's glowing slightly blue under the side switch. Right, that's because I just finished recharging it, so blue indicates it is fully charged. Right? If it was still charging, that would be red. Alright, at this time I'm going to roll in my outside uh, testing and demonstration footage, and then we'll come back for final thoughts on this light. Alright YouTube, here we are outside on the testing board with this WowTac. This is the low mode, let's cycle through. And let's go turbo. Wow, that is bright. All right, let me show you the firefly mode. That is the firefly. All right, here is turbo again. Warning, we're going to do a strobe, so it's going to flash you. And that is the strobe. And as you can see, it's got a lit side switch. Okay, YouTube, we're out on the road with this WowTac light. Uh, let's, let's ramp it up. That's the turbo. Let's see what we can see. Now this is the road with no street lights, no houses, no anything. Yeah, there's a lot of moisture in the air. I can definitely see that, but I love throwers. I love long-ranged lights. Because the thing is, 
I know it's not a floodlight, but first of all, there is a lot of spill, right? But, like with a light like this, you can always just sweep it back and forth, right? If you need to see everything. So it's not a floodlight, but you can always just do that, right? All right, let's go check out the creek. This thing's like a lightsaber, especially if there's you know, a lot of moisture in the air to really catch it. It's like a lightsaber. Okay, here I am overlooking Frog Creek with my WowTac lightsaber. No, <laughs> my WowTac uh, thrower here. Let's check out. <laughs> I mean, it looks like daylight down there in that water. Up into the treetops. A lot of the snow has melted, but I assure you that's only temporary. That's only temporary. No raccoons. No raccoons today. <laughs> look, just look how, uh, look how well this lights that up. Now I'm, I'm way back here. Like I'm way way back here. <laughs> that lit that up like it was nothing. And here's a top view of the beam shot of this, uh, this wow tack. Wow, I mean, look how, let's get behind it. This will light things up, no doubt. Yeah, you can see the focus and then you can see the spill area right there. Lighting up that double yellow. Okay, YouTube, we're on the sports field with this uh, very long range light. Let's try to go goal to goal. Okay, so this easily crosses the field. I mean, even with a lot of moisture, in the air you can still you can still see that goal this light is just an awesome thrower this is just uh i'm really digging this light i mean my favorite type of light you can basically light someone up a hundred meters away and you can clearly you'll clearly see them you would clearly spotlight a man-sized target with this light yeah rarely have we seen a light so dominant in the uh, crossing the field demonstration. Yeah, here's just, here's the rest of the field. You wanna zoom in and see? Those are the bleachers. You see there's another goal right there because this is actually this is actually two fields that are parallel to each other. So that's that goal. And then that's our goal. Okay, YouTube, here is this wow tack light. I am in the second story window overlooking the backyard. Wow, this thing is a laser. Look how focused this is. Yeah, this is what you see with no light. Just Pretty much nothing except the very distant neighbor's lights. All right, and with light. I mean, it's like daylight down there. <laughs> the neighbor's like pot, uh, swan thingies. <laughs> wow, and I'm way back here. I'm like way up perched up here. Man, this thing can light up everything. If there was a man-sized target right there, I mean, you'd see everything. Yeah, this is a great light for backyard security. Even if you, like, I don't have a huge backyard, but if you have a ranch or something, if you have a huge backyard, this would be freaking awesome. Okay, YouTube, we are back. So, what are my final thoughts on this WowTac uh, A4 V2? I have to say, WowTac has been doing very well lately. All right, the A4, the A5, and the A6 are all extremely good in their categories for the prices that they are. Now this is their compact thrower. 
right? A single battery thrower. This is my favorite type of light. This performs very well. It's, you know, it's what I call a light beam sniper. You know, it's like a laser, it's like a lightsaber. Uh, the range is really good and it is focused. So, you know, at like freaking 100 yards, 200 yards, it's so focused that you're gonna spotlight a man-sized target and you'll be able to see everything. Now, sometimes people ask, when you have such a long range uh, max beam distance, you know, why don't you demonstrate it at a longer distance? All right, let me explain. So the point of a thrower is not that you can see with your naked eyes, you know, 600 meters away. It's not like, even if you light something up that's 600 meters away, like, can your naked eyes see very much that far? It's just going to look like a tiny dot, whatever you're lighting up. Correct? So the point of a long-range light is that the performance at more practical distances, like 100 yards, that performance dominates, right? Also, please keep in mind that max beam distance is a theoretical measurement where basically that's the distance at which the light would theoretically produce like a quarter of one lumen per square meter. A quarter of a lumen. That's like moonlight. You wouldn't even be able to see it, right? Because the atmospheric disturbance over all that distance, uh, not to mention that cameras can't see as good as the human eye, means that if you did show the max beam distance, you wouldn't see anything, right? You, you wouldn't see a quarter of a lumen, right? Um, so that's a theoretical number. But what it does tell us is how good the light will do at more reasonable distances. Now this light is currently around $50, and that is so worth it. Are there any drawbacks? Not really, I mean, some people might not like that big heavy battery. Uh, me personally, I carry um, a single 26650 light. Me personally, a lot of people carry an 18650, which is, you know, noticeably lighter. I would rather have the capacity of that battery, and the weight does not bother me. All right, but it might bother some people, so I got to mention it. And now as far as the side switch, I think the side switch could be improved a bit. You know, make it larger, uh, easier, to, easier to get at by touch, more decisive. All right, so maybe some improvements of the side switch. That, that's really all, I, really all I can think of. I mean, the price is right, the performance is there. Uh, this is a winner by WowTac. I, I think this is my new favorite WowTac light. So yes, I basically highly recommend this light. Like I said, me personally, if I was choosing between, you know, one of their uh, better floodlights and this light, I, I would even go with this light, but that's, that's just me and my preferences. I will include a list of all the WowTacs and my reviews of the other WowTacs so you can, you know, compare and contrast them. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I added the other knives back, so Check out the links because not only will there be flashlights, but there will be cutlery. I found that I'm just, I'm just going to get all my flashlight people also into knives. If you're not already into knives, I think that's the easiest thing to do. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video and the backdrop. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.